Hey. Jet Runner the King. Grego. I heard it's hot up on the block right now, a nigga just gon' lay low Keep a couple shooters with me, they shoot when I say so Shorty wanna fuck me, but I only want her face though Suppressor on my pistol, if not that I use potato Money stacking up like a nigga building Lego Graduated to the loud, I don't smoke no rego Alright man, what up though man? Another interview, Chicago Hood Radio, Go TV Your boy Chicago Shug We sitting here with, tell your name fool King Grego, man, aka Peanut from Reawakening, man. Oh shit, that's what it is. You're fucking <laughs> with the Reawakening, huh, fool? Hell yeah, man. Been doing that shit for quite some time now. You know, mm. a few years. That's what's up. We definitely gonna get into that shit, man. We definitely is. Salute uh, Dante Fane and all that shit going on over there. That's some Chicago shit. Yeah. That's some Chicago shit for the youth, too. With a message. <laughs> anyway, though. Uh, how you get that name, King Greg, man? What's what's going on? What's the initials I see? What's that? CBMG? Yeah, what's that CBMG. is? Uh, I got the name King Greg from uh, my motherfucking granddaddy when I was little. <laughs> he used to make me call him King Greg <laughs> instead of granddaddy. Like, don't call me granddaddy, call me King Greg. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, bet. So I'm like, I like it, that shit. So I just made that my rap name type shit, you know. And then for the CBMG part, CBMG that stands for uh. Cop Block Money Gang, or it could be for uh, Cop Boys Music Group, but you know, that's my that's a little group for me and my little guys who grew up and shit, you know, came up with the group and shit. Oh, that's what it is. So I hear you speaking about a group you came up with. What uh, Y'all still getting shit cracking? Yeah, it's, it's me and my homie Fontana, uh, Money Man Hit, Potella, KG, a lot of, a lot of motherfuckers. I, can't, I ain't got no single with everybody out though, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. That's what it is. All right, um, what part of, what part of the city you from, fool? I'm uh, from the south side of Chicago, you know. Where exactly? What where, where you fucking with? Who you fucking with? What set you fucking with, fool? Uh, I'm from the hundreds, you know, but I fuck with everybody. I don't be doing that little game banging shit. I fuck with GDs, BDs, Stones, anybody who fuck with me, you feel me? That's what it is. That's what it is. Ain't nothing wrong with that, fool. Yeah. Gotta stay focused. I hear a lot of fuck shit going on with these niggas anyway. Yes, sir. Shit, alright, let's jump into this. Uh, What school you attended? Uh, I, uh, I attend currently right now. I'm in college. I'm uh, Kenny King, and then uh, shit, I, my CVS. I went to CVS in high school, then my elementary school, Dulles, and that was like right there about Oak Block. So, you know, I used to live in that shit. That's what it is. How, how was it for you, uh, you know what I'm saying, coming up in school? How was school for you? In school, I was always a fucking class clown. Everybody knew me. I was funny. Then, I, I, even since elementary school, I was doing like, you know, the real awakening and shit. So, I always was like, you know, somebody who known the class. I don't want like, you know, no goofy and not everybody knew me. That's what it is, cause man, it's it's definitely hard not to be a goofy out here fucking with these niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> on the real, cause if you're a goofy man, niggas definitely ain't fucking with you, man. Mm -hmm. On the real. Anyway, man, uh, what was like some of your favorite subjects in school? Uh, shit, lunch. No, <laughs> 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 no, shit. Uh, I had little acting classes. You feel me? That helped me with my acting and uh, you know, doing the real acting and shit. So that played a part. And then uh, Jim. You know, active class gym, only class I liked it, man. Alright, I hear you talking about gym, man. You ain't fuck with any sports in there? I, I play ball, you know. You was, you was on the squad and shit? No, I ain't going on the squad, but I was, you know, playing street ball or go to the gym when I feel like it. I ain't went on, on no team, man, you know. But I should have been, man. You know, I got him, though. That's what it is. I hear you uh, say you was uh, familiar with the Hunters and that's where you was coming from or whatever. I mean, I ain't, I'm a, I'm a, I ain't coming from there, you know, I, I just live in the hundreds, but I ain't from there, you, oh, that's I just, you know, I'm really from, originally from Sunny of a Wild Cup. Okay, cool. I was born and raised there. Cool. That, that brings me to this question then. So, so, uh, so living in the hundreds now and being from over there, have you ever, you know what I'm saying, ventured off into any other, any other towns like North, West, any of that? No, I'm strictly out south. I mean, I visited it, but I don't, I don't, I, I got a couple of people from out West I'm cool with. Man, from up north, but I don't kick it out there. When they come see me outside, I don't do the traveling, you know. Okay, so being from Walcott and shit, so, and being in them little places, what 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 you consider your favorite part of town? Where you like to kick it and play and shit? Shit. Studio. <laughs> and, uh, my block, it's the only places I go. Studio, my block. That's it. Well, I kick it personally. I don't do all that other stuff. Uh, yeah, you don't do too much. You know what I'm saying? Stay around yours. I feel you tighten this shit. Yeah. All right. 
who were some of the people that you, you know what I'm saying, looked up to in your neighborhood that was doing something positive that you felt was positive? Oh, uh, shit, my uncle and my cousin, they don't want to uh, inspire me to rap shit when I was little. They used to have me recording them, because, you know, my uncle, he made his own studio in his basement. And uh, he used to have me recording them because he ain't had nobody there to do it for him. So I used to, you know, press a little button for him. He used to have me hold a little camera for him, all that. I'm like, man, it's that easy. I want to do it, too. So, you know. And that was like in 08 though. I ain't take rapping serious until like 2012. Oh, okay. All right, so, so being from Walcott and, and, and now living in the hundreds, you know what I'm saying? I know a little nigga get hungry and shit. You feel me? What's some of your favorite spots to visit to eat at, you know what I'm saying, in Chicago? You talking about like fast food? Why are you talking about like a big, like a Shit, it don't food? matter. Whatever. Whatever you fuck with, I man. I mean, you know I love that, uh, that, that Harold's Chicken, man. But my favorite play, a restaurant to go out and sit down to, uh, I say about Red Lobster, you know? That's what it is. Hey, that, that motherfucking, um, um, the, uh, damn, what the fuck you just said first? <laughs> The uh, Harold's, my bad. The Harold's, hey, that was number. That's number one on this list. Every time a motherfucker get on here, motherfucker straight to the chicken shack. Hey man, Harold's, man, Harold's, man. Yes, sir. I like it greasy, man. I like I got it greasy. To have it. Mouth that's sauce what it is. Everything. That's what. <laughs> hey, yeah, definitely. Mouth sauce on everything. That's some Chicago shit. One hundred. All right, bet. Let's jump to this right quick, man. Current projects. Oh man, I got a lot of shit. I just had a video. Talk about it. Uh, with my homie, my brother's part two. I got a mixtape coming out this summer. You know, uh, shit. A lot of shit, man. So, uh, a lot of shit on my sleeve. Best. So what's the what's the what's the current uh, uh music project you got dropping? Uh, current video, single, all that. Uh, I just had a video of my homie, like I said, Fontana, uh, my brother's part two. So that's gonna be my newest one that's gonna come out. I was dropping this week. Okay. Too, so. Probably like, uh, on, uh, something, seven or 20 or something, I don't know. Alright, uh, y'all got any artwork for that project? Uh, uh, shit, no, not really, no. Oh, man, you gotta get some artwork, man. You gotta get that artwork out here, man. I mean, it's, it's a visual, like, that's why I said, I ain't know we needed the, the artwork for the visual, like, shit. I feel you, I feel you, that's what it is. Alright, uh, as far as that project, man, who, uh, who was the producers on there? You got any producers, DJs, or anybody hosting? Uh, Chase and Doe. Oh uh, shit. That's what's up. I heard a buddy. Uh, who him. else? Uh, I'm fucking with DJ Mill, taking a little bit on this little beast shit. And, uh, who else? That's really it. Oh, so, uh, okay, bet. So you was, uh, you was like working hand to hand with him or y'all? Yeah, so me and Doe chasing Doe. I've been fucking with him since I was little, like shorty. Like, he was around my block. I was saying, I used to live over there, but they moved. You feel me? Right. I still fuck with him, you know? That's what's up. How, how, how is it working with Fool? Like, how, how, how did that process go? Oh, uh, man, it, it, it's, it's like, Working with him is like, you know, working with with a, with a friend. Like, you know, shit, it's like, we cool, we from the same block, we kick it, talking, laughing, shit. It ain't, it's no shit new. That's what it is. I heard you said you was working with DJ Mill Ticket. I mean, I don't want to work with him, you know, just a few ways beast shit, you know, like that. Oh, okay, bet. That's what it is. Anyway, salute DJ Mill Ticket. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so, any collabs on that project besides the, uh, what you said his name was? Uh... Did you uh, say fun, 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 I got Fontana yeah, on Fontana. my mixtape. Yeah. I got Money Man Hit. Okay. I got Pretty Girl Side. I got uh, I got Jay Kush. I got uh, Salute Jay Kush, free. Yeah, yeah free Jay Kush, man. Uh, who else I got on that motherfucker? Uh, I think that's about it, though. I'll probably do a few more now. I'm bonus. I hear you say you had a female name in that, man. What's that like? Oh, man. Pretty girl sad. Yeah, I, I fuck with her, you know. We go to the same school and shit. Got a little song called Keep It One. It's on YouTube. Check that shit out. What kind of track that is? That's an up-tempo or is that like a, a slow track? Like a little slow track, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. How was it working with her? Oh, yeah. It was, it was cool, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's it, real short, huh? Yeah. That was cool. That nigga, that nigga smiling and everything. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, okay. Cool, All right, bet that's what it is. That's what it is. Like that's game. Shit. All right. So, all right, let's think in the studio with King Greg, man. What's some do's and don'ts that gotta go on in the studio? Some do's that have to go on. Some don'ts, motherfucker. You better not do it in some the studio. Do's in the studio. 
Money is time. Don't play with time in the studio, man. Like, don't come in there, oh, I forgot what, what, what like, free, I like coming to the studio down, packed, prepared, everything ready to go, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, don't, don't, don't do that, that's not professional, but the dudes, they gotta have your weed, man, you know what I'm saying? One more don't, don't bring already. <laughs> well, that's that. what's up. You don't fuck with the mid, huh? <laughs> that's what's up. Strictly loud, man. All right, uh, what's some, what's some, I heard you say you gotta have it. You gotta have the weed. What else? What else? Another must have that you must have while you in the studio to create. Shit, my phone. To, Cause you know I be having most of my music and my notes on my iPhone and shit. And you know, but sometimes I I, uh, I try to memorize. Sometimes I don't need my phone, but sometimes I do. So yeah, my phone, my weed, my minute, man. That's all I need. Bad basic necessities. That's what we need. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Now let's jump to this. Well, what hip hop has been seen through all through through many uh, like eras or whatever. Right. What was I mean from like from the from the eighties on up to the two thousand? What 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 you, what you consider your your favorite era in hip hop? Oh man, shit, the two thousand and uh, the nineties. You know, shit, one of my you know two favorites, nineties and uh. Cause you know, 90s and uh, Biggie and uh, Pockhead going crazy and NWA and shit. I was just gonna ask you who you was fucking mm -hmm. with. Go ahead. That's what's up. Who you fucking with in the 2000s? Who, wh why you fucking with the 2000s era? Cause you know, 50, 50, he, he played a uh, role, uh, he an inspiration to me too. Cause I, when I was little, I used to be playing his games, watching his movies and shit. Oh yeah, his games was crazy. Crazy. Niggas you know? would sleep on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, 50 Cent Bulletproof, I had that shit on PS2, boy. Yeah. I playing that shit, man. Salute fifth. You know, man. Uh, okay. All right. Other than your team, you know, what I'm saying niggas you fuck with, you feel me? Who you who who you feel comfortable with collabing with? That's that's right now. That's on the come up or got their foot in the game doing their business. I want to do a song like shit collab with like motherfucker well, Lifo, okay. uh, Sosa, Her, uh, who else? I fuck with uh, I fuck with a little bit of uh. Uh, who that nigga name, man? Damn, I forgot that nigga name, but he be going crazy, man. What song we got out? Damn, what's that, uh... Damn, I'm trying to... No, shit, fuck that shit, I forgot it, man. Alright, go ahead, go to somebody else. You got three, you say Lou, Fo, Sosa. Oh, yeah, Blockboy JB, that's what it was. Okay. That's what it was. Y'all be made that Black up. Blockboy JB, you wrong. said somebody else. That's what it was. I couldn't remember the song or his name. That's <laughs> why I was like, fuck Oh, yeah, you said her. Lou, Fo, Sosa. Her and who you just say? Black boy J J B. Black boy J B. You got one more. I got one more. Uh, shit. Uh, one fucking fifty. I bet. All right. So, if you could bring, if you could bring a, a artist alive, you feel what I'm saying? We hypothetically speak. If you could bring an artist alive right now from the grave, who would you want that ultimate feature to be with? Oh man, pop man, pop. That's what's up. Why Pac though? Cause he like, you know, he a legend at this shit, you know? He, he, he did a lot, like, you know, from the movies and shit, you know, and by, just by watching, even though I ain't, even though I went live around the time to know what he did and how he was in, in real life, you know, I was, I was, you know, growing up listening to him, my family and shit. And, right, I feel you. You know, I just looked up to him, basically. Yeah, Pac was a powerful motherfucker. He had a message behind his music. I think that's a good pick. Because we definitely need a nigga like that right now. Not need, because you know what I'm saying? I don't need no nigga for shit. But as far as to, to, to rally the people, to, to, to get them in a, a, a more positive light, Pac would definitely be the influence right now today. Mm -hmm. That was a good pick. Uh, okay. Uh, how do you feel about collabing with other uh, other forms of music, like, you know, R&B, classical, uh, uh, country? If they was able to, if they was to come with you, come at you with a check, pardon me, would you, can you see yourself uh, featuring on any of their tracks or working with them? I can focus on R&B, probably a little rock, I don't know, I can switch it up a little bit, you know, I like, you know, turning up and shit for the females, you know, so, you know, yeah, I can probably switch it up, that's what I'm really trying, I'm, trying, I'm really trying to fade my, my, uh, my rapping shit to, the, to like the fake R&B, I ain't no singer, but you know, I'm trying to get the, the female audience. I feel you. 
That's what's up. You, that's a, that's the audience you can target though. That's where the money come from, low key. Yes, sir. You heard what Pac said. You said you fucking with Pac. That's what Pac said. You sing mm -hmm. to the females, the niggas gonna buy that shit. For real. All right. Okay. With that being said, who can you see yourself collab with? Give me give me uh, five right on top of your head. Who can you see yourself collab with other than rap artists? Other than rap artists? Yeah, it could be like I said, uh, R and B, country, rock, whatever. Damn. If you can, give me five. Shit, wide fan, Lucci. It's a rapper, my man. Man, he like, he like, he be kind of saying. Yeah, he do say a little bit. All right, so we can put him in there. Okay, that wide fan, Lucci. Why I feel Lucci, man? You gotta come on, man. You can't walk that fence, nigga. You got a rapper saying, man. Which one you gonna do? Jacquees. Jacquees, cool. Uh, Chris Brown. Okay. Uh, man, that's what, what about future? He on that R&B shit too, though. Like, yeah, 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 so yeah, future, future. Okay. Shit. Really, it, man. I don't know. You say five? That's four right there. Yeah, that's four. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's good. That's good. So, man, if y'all listening, man, reach out to the young. Another youngin' gonna reach out to you. That's how we get it. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, when let's take it back to this. When did you really start, like, you know what I'm saying, create music or just getting on that type of way? 2008. Now, like I told you, I ain't taking it serious in 2012. 2008, I was just making tracks. I ain't had no visuals, no artwork. I ain't even know about it, YouTube. I mean, I knew, I mean, I don't want to enter that yet. You know, I was just, you know, I was making tracks for the streets. I was basically hood famous. Like, the whole block knew me as I rapped it. Some motherfuckers fucking with it, some motherfuckers wasn't. But, you know, everybody got their own opinion of music or what they like, you know what I'm saying? But... I fuck with the world for me, but the streets, so far the streets is fucking me, and then, you know, only reason I stopped, I mean, I started in 2008, but I started, like, taking it serious in 2012, because, like, I was doing a little reawakening shit, so that shit boosted up my fan base, so I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna start back rapping again, so I can make my active fans transition to my rapping fans, so, I'm like, yeah. Smart move, smart move, that's what a lot of motherfuckers do anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay, so from back then, when you started to now, uh, do you feel your style changed for the better or for the worse? Oh, hell yeah, yeah, for the better shit, because I feel like, you know, the more years you, you know, do your craft that you love to do, and as you do it more and more every day, you, you know, you, you, you learn it better and you perfect it better, so, you know, as I, I feel like I, yeah, I improved. Alright, uh, so you definitely, you basically independent, right? Yeah, I'm independent. Uh, my uh, management label, I got Cam Dre Entertainment, and I told you about my little group, CBMG. Shit, that's really it, like you know. Do you desire to be signed or anything like that? I mean, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Rapper, you know, want to have a deal, like I, I ain't, you know, I'm, I ain't, nah, I'm when, not quick to sign no deal. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying I, I, I gotta have, have the right price, yeah. Okay, I'm about to say, don't get, don't go out here and get your ass 360. You know what I mean? No, no. <laughs> no that shit, they ain't playing no games with that for real, bro. Mm -hmm. So, man, to all you niggas out there that's getting this shit cracking, make sure that y'all negotiate and, and, and really look into y'all deals. Don't get 360, bro, for real. All right, so, okay. So, we're going to hypothetically speak real quick again. So, if, if let's say a, 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 a label come at you or whatever, you know, a nice amount of money or whatever, how you comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You you'll 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 go from being independent straight to the majors, right? Shit, sure, yeah. Okay, so what would you think? What what label would you want that to be? What would be your your top label you would want that to be? Shit, sure, Interscope. Why you choose Interscope? Shit, sure, cause uh, Fifty. He was you know he was with Interscope. I think he still is with Interscope, right? Yeah. No, 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 that yeah, shit over with. Nah, that shit over with. Yeah, that shit over with? Yeah, that shit over with. Nah, he fully independent now, fool. fool. Yeah. yeah? I ain't know all that shit, yeah. bro. I'm sleepy. He, he brought in the mixtape out the uh, Beauty of Independence and shit. Yeah? Yeah. Well, shit, you know, and let's go, like I said, or shit, CMG. That's what's up. CMG is throwing out some money, shit. Look at Black Youngster and all yeah, that. Yeah, shit. They, they definitely throwing out some money, so that's what's shit, up. Shit, I'm CBMG. I like shit. Take the B off my shit, I'll be CMG. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're finna jump to this now. You done any shows or anything? Have you performed yet or anything? 
Yeah, yeah, I think. Talk Gary. about that, man. Talk about that. Oh, uh, shit. I had some shows out there, uh, like, uh, what, a few months ago, like Gary and Diana and shit, with my homies and shit. We had drove out there. Uh, it was really his show, but, you know, like, you know, he had a song with me, so I performed it with him and shit, okay. you know. That's what's up. Like that. You know, but we turned that motherfucker up, though, just because off of me, like, the motherfuckers know me from the real way and type shit. Like, that's how like, motherfuckers, like, see it up, you know. Oh, that's what it is. With the gang riding around where I go, they go. We see the jakes, we stop at gates and smoke a blunt and lay low. In a faux dough with like four hoes. And we told them four poles, smoking dope dope. I see a couple fans, now they want a faux dough. And they know that I got bands on the low low. And if he lacking, then we stick him up. He refused, hit him up. Paramedics pick him up. Doctors gotta stitch him up. Ran down hosted where they lost it. Gotta ride cautious, nigga, so exhausted from a long road trip. The Boston riding at like two o'clock with like two glocks. All eyes on me, like a nigga Tupac. And I'm smoking moon rocks. Send me to the boondocks. Make that.